So um, right out of high school, I joined the Marine Corps. Uh, it was right, uh, right before uh, Desert Shield, uh, which is, you know, the war in the Persian Gulf. I saw that, uh, that conflict happening and felt called to, you know, to, to join the military and serve and um, was in the Marines for about four years. Uh, a lot of people, uh, when I tell them about my Marine Corps service, they always say, well, where are you stationed? And I say, well, Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii. And they're always like, oh, that's not a very tough duty. Um, so I did get fortunate enough uh, after uh, everything and, you know, the war in Iraq was over, um, the first one, to get stationed in Hawaii and spent four years in the Marines and was very fortunate, enjoyed my time there, um, wanted to uh, kind of pursue a, a career to where I could grow and, and actually make some money. Uh, because when you're in the military, uh, you're, you're there to serve. You're not there to make any money, right? And as a young man, I wanted to make my mark on the world and, and go out and be successful. And so um, I had to go home to Michigan. My father was uh, pretty ill. So that took me from, from where I was living back to Michigan. And then from there, ended up in Boston. And through a, through a job that uh, I'd gotten through a recruiting company, uh, they saw something in me and said, hey, wow, we'd love to train you as a technical recruiter. So that's how I got my start in technology. Uh, got trained as a technical recruiter and, you know, fast forward about a year and a half, almost two years, um, was approached by a couple SAP consultants that I had been working with to say, we're starting a company. SAP is super hot right now. We'd love to have you come in and run it and do the recruiting and business development. And so that was my first entrepreneurial venture there in the end of 96, 97. And I've been a serial entrepreneur since. I've built multiple companies, have had successful exits. And I've been in the blockchain space since, uh, I'd say, close to the, the end of 2016. Um, I immediately fell in love with the technology. Uh, anytime when you can start having conversations with people about, well, we've never been able to do this before until now. Um, you know, it, it's just amazing to me all the uh, use cases and, and problems that blockchain solves that we've had in certain industries for, for years and years and years. The first um, use case that I saw that was an in-production use case, which means that the application was built, the company was using it, um, was a blockchain-based natural gas application that uh, an aggregator was using. And so I said, so what, what, solve, what problem is blockchain solving for you? He says, well, you know, when you are trading gas in the pipeline, it could trade hands multiple times. So many times it, it's, it's hard to keep track. And, but we have a paper trail for that but they have what's called a cut, right? So if, if you're selling me the natural gas and I'm supposed to end up receiving that, but I don't, because in the pipeline you sold it to somebody else, I have the opportunity to go back to you and not only get my money back, but there's a, there's a penalty on that. You, you've got to pay me for that cut. So the problem existed to where it would take them, you know, 60 to 90 days to figure out who cut them in the pipeline. So you had that whole lag time between getting your money back and, and, and your little penalties and fees or whatever. So this blockchain application put all of these transactions on the blockchain and set it up to a point to where it took 90 seconds to figure out who cuts you in the pipeline. So that just blew my mind. I was like, wow, we went from something that was a manual process that could take up to 90 days to 90 seconds. And it just totally transformed how they did their business. They started kicking people out, you know, who was, who was cutting them in the pipeline all the time. So that, that's where I really fell in love with, with blockchain. And, um, started working um, uh, around 2017 after uh, doing a few projects with my existing company, which was a consulting staffing firm. And just for the past three and a half years, been uh, doing software development in both blockchain and AI and um, partnered up with uh, a company called Acubits about two years ago, brought them in on projects and our relationship just grew and grew. And um, we decided to, to do a joint venture which is how uh, Future Tech was born. And uh, we actually linked up with a company called CyberMate Infotech, which is a 26 year old uh, publicly traded company. And um, they, they have a lot of uh, expertise in legacy systems, uh, ERPs. Um, they've got a, a great capability in recruiting. So all three of us came together, uh, formed the company. I was able to bring uh, their, from Acubits, uh, the US president of Acubits, I was able to bring him in to be partners on the deal. So. There's four of us that have come together to do future tech, and uh, we've been super excited. And uh, I think most recently, what people are um, are asking me about is is our pandemic management solution, Rebuild the Chain.